Oh man, I am getting really hungry. Do you want to go to Taco Bell? No, you always get to pick where we eat lunch. Taco Bell's awesome though. What about Chipotle? Eh, I don't know. How about we do rock, paper, scissors? All right. Okay, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! All right. Hello, hello. Welcome to another Thursday Learn Day, and I am Jeremy uh, with Sphero Education. And today, we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite, rock, paper, scissors. Now, rock, paper, scissors actually is believed to have originated in China, and it's been used through centuries to solve problems like where we're gonna eat for lunch. So, today, we decided to use our Sphero Bolt and its integrated IR communication sensors to solve those problems for you. Let's take a look how the program works. Bolt integrated IR sensors have an IR, uh, come with an infrared receiver and infrared emitter, meaning that it can send and receive infrared messages uh, programmatically. Uh, in the rock, paper, scissors, in the rock, paper, scissors program that we've made for you, we've created a program full of variables that randomizes what each robot will throw after it says rock, paper, scissors. So start the game, you're gonna need a friend, two robots, and two devices. Have the program opened up on both devices, and both of you hit start. Rock, paper, paper, scissors, scissors, shoot, shoot. It's a tie. It's a tie. Try again. Try again. Rock, rock, paper, paper, scissors, scissors, shoot, shoot. Paper beats paper rock. Beats rock. You, win. you win. Yes. Looks like we're having Taco Bell, Terry. Let's head on. Let's head on over to Binary Bill and see how this program actually works. Hiya! This program takes the guesswork out of rock, paper, scissors. It uses infrared communications between the two bolt robots. Infrared is an invisible wavelength of light that you can't see. You may have used it before, though, on your TV remote to control the channels. We use the same technology here so that when the program randomly picks rock, paper, or scissors, the choices are exchanged in invisible messages between the robots. Now, it's important that you have two programming devices with your two bolt robots enabled to run this game. Make sure that you stagger the start on each of the devices. This staggering of the program start allows the two bolt robots to toggle between sending and receiving modes. And a little shake here, and a little shake Shoot. here. Two shakes and what do you get? Rock beat scissors, you lose. <sighs> Can't remember all three choices in the rock, paper, scissors game? Don't worry, the robot will pick for you. Just shake it. So whether you're trying to figure out who gets the last cookie or who gets to hold the remote, enjoy this week's Thursday Learn Day, Rock, Paper, Scissors, and all the other Bolt Thursday Learn Days in the Spiro EDU app. See you next week.